Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. We are continuing to learn about reactive forms and today's uh, episode we will focus on learning about form builder. In the last episode, I introduced you the concept of form group and form control. Form builder is used to build complex forms which has different use cases like for example if you have a complex form which includes form groups arrays controls much much more dynamic data getting added forms form controls getting removed in those use cases form builder acts as a abstraction layer for us which is driven primarily by the user's configuration of the form we'll learn all about it and plus much more we will do hands-on in this episode let's get started this is part 61 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in the series with detailed explanation and code e examples. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. The notes and the code, the, it goes to the GitHub link, which is also in the description. Please do check it out. Following are the topics that I've already covered in this particular series. Uh, make sure that you watch all these previous um, videos and tutorials that I've covered so that you can learn and master Angular. If you have any doubts in any of these that topics that I've covered previously, please do drop them in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you. Let's get started with form builder. That's the topic of today's episode. A quick note uh, for our viewers who are joining us new. What is reactive forms? It's a way to create forms in Angular application. It's one of the way, uh, there are two ways, right? Uh, reactive forms and template driven forms. In the reactive forms, we will primarily make use of form builder, form group and form control. We'll need to work with reactive forms module and we need to import it in the app module. I've covered all of this in the last two episodes. Make sure that you check it out so that you learn and master the reactive forms in, in detail. All right, so remember three things uh, in reactive forms that I will be working mostly. You would come across form control, form group, and form builder. Form control and form group, I've covered it in the previous episode. Make sure you check it out. Today, we'll be covering up the form builder. All right, so for the form builder, it's pretty much um, similar to the form group. Right. So the best way to learn is by making some high level notes so that you differentiate between form group and form builder. Right. So let me make that notes for you. I'll continue to make notes in our um, the topic that we made the first episode of reactive forms. All right. So today we are learning about form builder. So form builder, think of it like a, it's an abstraction layer. Right. It's an abstraction layer. Uh, which makes it easy to design and build our forms, right? Now, remember that most enterprise applications or most forms that you will work with will have really complex uh, structure, right? So form builder, when you use, it makes it easy to work when you have really complex form structure. And so, for example, Let's say you have a form where you need to add a lot of files. You need to add a lot of details. You need to remove some, right? So you see, these are all dynamic behavior. Uh, you can have an array of data sets, array of form controls, right? So these are all complex form structures and form builder makes it easy because it has three things, right? So form builder has three things that it makes it very important. One is form group. It has the inbuilt form group that we can use to build a form. It has form array and it has form control. So see, you don't have to use form group individually or you don't have to use form control separately. We can use it as part of the form builder. And that's the beauty and that's the that's the power, powerful feature Right. And you would appreciate it as in when we go along, I will show you we started building with a simple form. We will make it really complex by adding different use cases and complex uh, structure to our forms. 
but that's something that we will keep adding for now let's go and see what is the application doing so if you refer to the previous uh, episodes you would see that we created three fields right that is loan name loan description and loan type right which were three basic um, things so what i'll do is i will start with first formatting this so that it looks a little better than what it is now so since we are using bootstrap here i'm going to paste these and so it will be a little bit more beautiful and like i said you would see that this would go from this form which doesn't have any much life in it yet we will make it complicated we will add complex use cases and at the same time we will also do add a lot of functionality to learn right now i'll make it form loan type so all i'm doing is formatting the form so it looks little better and one step at a time and we will make it absolutely killing form so that we learn it end to end all right so what i've done i've just grouped the form elements put some label so now you see it has become like this but again like i said we will keep adding uh, things to make it more uh, attractive right now if you see it doesn't have um, the alignment to it like we can add probably a alignment and it would also look better uh, we'll do that probably later but that's not for today all right so let's go to our component class and if you remember we added this code in the last episode which is simple we created a form type we called add loan type form right that's the form name and we created it as part of a form group we said it's a form group then we assigned we said new form group and we added two form controls to this particular form group right and then we mapped it into the html using form group here so since we are learning about form builder the first thing we need to do is include the form builder okay once you do this it would be automatically imported here so take this value and now see i told you form builder is made up of three things right form array form control and form group so now i have commented of this code now what i will do is i'll rewrite this form and say this dot form builder dot group see it's the same either you create a form group like this or you can create like this now you would think that you know it's the same code why do we have it to do it again maybe using form builder like i said this is pretty straightforward form right this form has just two fields three fields right it's pretty simple and straightforward but if you talk about real time uh, enterprise forms they will be really complicated okay so we'll make this um, complicated by adding that logic as we progress in the episode understand that whatever form group can do that's available in form builder right now which one is encouraged form builder or form group so i would always say that in my experience i have seen form builder is the preferred one right preferred one why because form builder allows you to break down break down your form into smaller piece of code which is uh, usually reusable right which is reusable and at the same time simple to maintain right so we will learn about that when we come i'll i promised you i will make you an expert so stay with me for today all your understanding is you are learning how to use form builder okay so for today's episode i think what you should know and what you should utilize is form using form builder it has three things like if you see here we can add an array we can add a control we can add a group right so whatever now this was the code that was used using form group now we upgraded it to form builder slowly we'll start adding more complexity to this form as we progress for today just leave it at this all right i'm going to add one more thing to this which is the loan description i think loan description 
right and go to the form and you should not see any difference right now if I enter some name and hit the submit button I should see the form value captured see that means this is this is good that means earlier we had with only form group now we upgraded this to form builder and it still works as expected stay on the course stay with me on this just like this and we will take it further to next level in the next episode we will start adding complexity in the next episode i will show you how to set values for this form and then we'll we'll keep adding gradually so guys it's important that you stay together stick to the topic learn only that learn progressively else you'll lose the track all right stay with me i will cover each and every aspect to help you master it okay all right so in the next episode i will teach you how to set values for the form and then we'll grow it okay i hope you like the tutorial if you do please do like share comment uh, if you like my work please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much